Hello, my name is Scientist Josh. I'm going to tell you a little bit about a brain. This is my model brain that I made. So I'm going to go over a few of the parts of it to uh, help us understand better what it is. First of all, we're going to start with the frontal lobe, which is this yellow section, including this first orange part right here. There's the front frontal cortex, and then we have the motor cortex, this orange part of it. Next, we're going to go to the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe is this green area right here, from here all the way out to here. In the parietal lobe, we have the sensory cortex, which is just behind, posterior to the motor cortex. Next, we're going to go to the occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is this blue part in the back. Next, we have the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe is this orange part on the side, right below the temporal bone. This kind of darker area, right below the sensory cortex, is called the auditory cortex. We also have the cerebellum down here, and also the brain stem. Now let's go inside. As you can see, we have the frontal cortex, parietal cortex, occipital cortex. If you see this light area right here at the back, that is the visual cortex, where most of the vision processing is done. As you can also see, the brain stem is separated into different parts. We have the medulla, or medulla, on the bottom, as well as the pons, slightly superior to that. As you can also see, there's, from these orange lines, we also have this reticular formation where nerves bundle up and feed into the main part of the brain. At the top of the brain stem, we have the thalamus, where the reticular formation feeds into. Just below that, we have the hypothalamus, as shown in this darker part right below the thalamus. We also have the corpus callosum, which is this blue area in the middle, which connects both sides of the brain. Also, here we have the uh, hippocampus, which lies just below the amygdala, which are all part of the limbic system, as well as the hypothalamus. And for the most part, I think that is just about all of basic anatomy, and not to mention the pituitary underneath, but for this we don't really care about that right now. But thanks for watching, hopefully that was instructional, and we'll see you next time.